a go and see if I actually get to the end of a match. Really enjoyed this game. It has only been in multiplayer beta for a couple of days. We'll see how it goes. Alright, not in the best position here, but I'll take the two ships. Don't really want to lose a ship in this fight. So if it comes to losing a ship, I will abandon. Because I'll, the penalty for losing a ship can be quite harsh. Let me lose them for a couple of games, and then when you do get them back, where the crew doesn't get any experience. So often it's worth just losing the game, just for saving your ships. But we'll see how it goes. Right, first thing I want to do is click this eye, and that will highlight the gas clouds and any asteroid fields which we don't have. Now he's possibly going to set up over there, so he won't know how many ships I have, so I'm just going to plop them down here. I'm not quite sure why there's a transport ship there. Bizarre. Anyway, so I've got my group selected. I want to click on the targeting and then set their auto attacks. He's not ready to go yet, but once he is, I'm going to. For some reason, when I click on things, it disappears. I'm going to fire a probe into that gas cloud and launch some fighters straight away. the number one and two up here that denotes my groups so let's wait for him to deploy so we're gonna fire something over there at your command now why did they Underway. Never mind. we're away I got a feeling his transport ships are hiding and that's them over there. Engines hot. Helm coordinates acknowledged. So I'll get some fighters ship out ready. here straight away. Put my ship on cooldown order so the fighters recharge quicker. Your orders. Next thing we'll do is fire some torps. Course plotted. Enemy ship sighted. Awaiting orders. Right, so he's got a full on cruiser there as well. Yes, Admiral. So Setting course. Blocks. Behind the cruiser, these three here are his transport ships. Orders received. And the transport ships can also fight. Changing course. So I need to try and steer assist them and then hit the transport ships. Understood. Right, he can taunt me. Your I'll orders. His deck. I might be able to eliminate that. Setting course. Course plotted. Orders received. Underway. Engines hot. Oh, so that's fine. Helm coordinates acknowledged. Speed set. I gotta kill two of these. Two. Course plotted. Yeah. Understood. Target. 
target locked in. Ship ready. Engines hot. Changing course. Initiate emergency repair. speed set engines hot this guy's fucking sort of coming for bail your orders the damage he's taken in the fire setting course for a fight anyway. awaiting orders ship ready escaping the battle zone I've been taunted so I can't do Orders okay. received. At your command. Underway. Engines hot. Your orders. I got stairs as well behind us. Initiate emergency repair. Speed set. Changing course. Get some torpedoes on these guys. Helm coordinates acknowledged. All ahead, full. Cruising speed set. Sleep, but I need to kill one more Orders and received. I win this mission. Execute high energy turn. Cruising speed set. Brute force. It's not going to be healthy for my ship. Understood. Because I'm now at the mercy of his ship. Setting in. course. Targeting enemy yeah, vessel. Taunted is there. I was about to tell him that his taunt had worked. damage I took there, whether that was worth that uh, daft charge in there or not. Still trying to figure out the best way to deal with them convoy uh, attack missions. Seems the best thing to do is just uh, let them escape. Looks like my ships were fine, so see number this guy here, the cruiser, he's can now level his crew up after that match. So that's a, a good thing. So that was worth it. And the game didn't crash, which is great. Now on the screen you see I've got these points up here, renown, and use these to upgrade your ships up and buy another light cruiser slot with a hundred points. These green boxes are abilities that I can put on. If I go to the ship. See, I've got one upgrade, which is that, and these upgrades cost 200 points to fit on them ships. Also, this guy's destroyed, and it'll cost me 25 points to bring him back. But I save up the points because if we go to here, I've got a really bigger guy, I've got favors, and these cost 400 points each. So I can put space marines on, so I get lightning strikes from my terminators, get an extra action. Um, which is something I'd be looking at putting on these guys because these have got an extra lightning strike base so that would give them three attacks in close combat. Uh, it only costs 200 to put them on this one. So I could spend 400 points on these two guys to give them the extra assaults and I'm going to give that a go because I'm experimenting. And as you can see it changes the colour of the ship. 
not the toughest ships, but their job now is to get up close to personal and dump loads of terminators onto the enemy ship. So let's see if we can have another battle. Well, saving up the points because I'll get another cruiser slot, then a battle cruiser slot, then battleship slot. You don't pay for the ships themselves, you just pay to unlock the slot, and once the ship's in there, you can change them at your leisure, you can take them in and out, but you will lose any upgrades if you replace the ship. As you see, these two Dauntless cruisers, uh, light cruisers, sorry, are the mainstay. A bit cheesy with the shield regen on each other, the extra attack for melee, and the speed boost. Not a big fan of that cruiser. Um, but it's the one I've went with for the moment for the fighter bears with that's an upgrade to give a cooldown on how often you can launch fighters. Right, it's taking too long, so I'll just go back to the main menu and start it again. Uh, this is the third admiral I've made. I got the other one quite high initially, and I've just been mucking about figuring out how the game works. And a fatal error. So let's restart the client. Well, I'll have a fatal error at that point, then actually during the battle. So yeah, for some reason I've turned the game down, but that's still ridiculously loud. Uh, there's a few connection issues with the game. It is better than it has been at the weekend. But this normally means that the other person's had a fatal error. Uh, I mentioned before they did patch the game just before today. Um, hopefully to fix this, but it's been quite bad today. But as somebody who never played Battlefleet Gothic, the board game, I am thoroughly enjoying this. See, it reminds me a lot of Starfleet Command, um, which I played the PC game of because I really enjoy the board game, the tabletop x space game. And it feels in a similar vein to that. Okay, straightforward fight to the death, 400 points. This could be painful for me. He could very well have a battle cruiser in this fleet. But we'll see. Priority is probe them out. It might seem like a waste of points to put the probe on, but if you get the intel on them, figure out whether you want to fight them or not. But even if you don't want to fight and you want to warp out, it can cost you your ship because you can lose it in the warp. No point really hiding my ships in this one again because he will find out on the bottom of the screen how many ships I've got. I can see he's got four, so I will prep to fight four ships. And I'm going to go with Bomber Squadron this time, set them on auto, set me probe on automatic as well. Now set me groups up. So now I can jump through my ships very quickly. And as you saw, that was busy typing in the probes away, and that was one of the bulk of his fleet. Ship ready. So I want to get some turning going, so if he does launch torpedoes at us, they're not going to come straight at me, and I might have a chance of dodging them. Whereas I will pop some torpedoes at him. At your command. Going silent. That was the wrong button. I didn't mean to press silent, really. I'm going to press cool down. Awaiting orders. So as soon as I've gone silent, I will put him in an asteroid belt there. The gas cloud. 
Awaiting orders. Yes, Admiral. Let's slow them down a little bit. Well, they haven't really tried to dodge our torpedoes too well. And looking at the speed of his ships, they're uh, probably battle cruisers, uh, cruisers, light cruisers, and that's probably their best goal. But let's not have these two forces. Your orders. Comes to me, big guy. I don't want Tarp see us away from him so he can run if need be. Ship ready! Awaiting orders. Your orders. Yes, Admiral. Yes, That's Admiral. Off, otherwise, I get suicidal. So he's got Nova Cannons, which is great. At your command. At your command. Awaiting orders. Trying to keep away from yes, the doors. Gonna turn the fleet around. Don't want to get you broadside on us soon. Enemy ship sighted. Oh, he's just drove through, through something up there. Oh, looks like torpedoes hitting. Ship ready. Now I'm going to steer this bomb, which I can use to try and catch out. Right, so that's a little frigate escort. Your orders. So I think the others are going to be cruisers. Let's go on trying to catch your these guys out. Oh, that's why I don't bother with escorts, really. They generally melt very quick. Yes, Admiral. Awaiting orders. Right, now we really need to figure out who the hell he is. And Ship what doing. ready. Your orders. Need to get some intel. It's gonna be just under a minute if we can do that. Ship ready. Enemy really ship sighted. Fire. Your orders. Yes, Admiral. Initiate emergency repairs. Ship ready. At your command. Awaiting orders. At your command. Yes, Admiral. Your orders? Yes, Admiral. Ship ready. Course plotted. Very steep. Begin repairs now. Awaiting orders. At your command. Awaiting orders. Just trying to kite them a little bit here. Terminators. Deep striking. Your orders. Ship ready. Oh, one of them with this guy is absolutely cream crack. Awaiting orders. Your orders. Yes, Admiral. Terminators. Ready. That's going to be painful. Right, he needs to jump out. 
at your command. Yes, Admiral. Orders. Special escorts, they're uh, red shirts basically. But thankfully, we all got away. I made 40 every now, which isn't good. I got 40 for the defeat, I think 10 for killing one ship. So you see the, the, the points for killing them aren't great. But ship leveled up, I might have lost the match. But thankfully, because I didn't lose any ships, it didn't really hurt me. Well, we've got another cruiser slot now. So that little symbol means his crew is he's got a new crew slot. So we'll go to him and go to the crew. And you see I put gunners on because these guys want to kick us in off the button. You know, give us a nice uh, bonus of damage. So the other one's rating is quite good because they help you with boarding actions when people attack you. Um, but it's only for defence and cooldown of skills which is nice but people like to board so that is where I'm going to put them points so you see I've got these 400 points but I can also unlock him and on favours cost 200 well cost 400 sorry points on these guys so I'm put a favour on this dude or I can add another cruiser and this time I'll have a look through. I will go for macro cannons because I want somebody who can get in close. Because a lot of ships end up uh, big brawls. So, oh, that dominator. It's got Nova cannon, and I really don't like Nova cannons. But if I want the four macro cannons, he's the one to go with. the dominator as you see he's got the nova cannon there which is let me just go to the ship and mouse over it it's that big gun at the front and there are the macro cannons on the side comes with two skills as standard um with this guy uh, teleport would be handy 50 points of gain so as you can see i'm that on him which means he can jump into the close range fight and then i can give him some emergency void shields which would protect them. I'm not very clever with things like that. So I think I'll go with Taunt. That way if somebody's trying to run away I can pull them into the fight. But let's see if I get to use this ship. And now you see why I had a lot of renown before. But I put them favours on there. Buy me a new cruiser slot and I'm fitting this cruiser has wiped me out considerably. Right, that's taking too long, so let's check the main menu. See if we can find a game that was quick. See if somebody joins the room and see what type of game match we get. Uh, breakthrough defender, so I will have a couple of outposts which I have to defend, and he basically has to smash my outposts, then get ships off the board. So 
I can take my two cruisers or I can take a cruiser and a couple of these guys. Um, it's going to be the cruisers. And bang on 300 points. Generally, one cruiser should be able to take out one light cruiser and then take my two cruisers. Okay, it comes down to the RNG in the game and the skill. If he's got sense, he's going to sit with no cannons and missiles and spam the crap out of the platforms as men moving amongst the dead. Because he will have more points than me in this uh, battle. And there is a field there. So first thing I want to do is set these up as number three and group number four. And that way I can flick between them because they have a shield buff. my two cruisers down and I want to get their lightning strikes up and ready and on this dude I want to have him probably fighters because if he's going to spam missiles Ship ready. then I need to be ready to uh, to spam your orders there's an over cannon Two commands. So it'll be two cruisers he's got. Course plotted. Acknowledge. Yes, Admiral. So we might as well get in there. Here we come. Engines hot. Reloading. I want to get over here to use my Understood. to defend this. Enemy ship sighted. Underway. So take on this guy first. Awaiting orders. Helm coordinates acknowledged. Orders received. Your orders. Setting course. Let's get some bombers out now. Ship ready. Feel the wrath of the Imperial Navy. Turn him round. Oh, far away to get that help. Command. Acquiring new vector. Changing course. Cruising speed set. Course plotted. Execute high energy turn. Underway. At your command. Understood. Orders received. Acknowledged. Awaiting orders. Course plotted. I took him up. Allow me to do that. Setting course. But I should Engines hot. Be able to kill this dude. Damage teams, begin repairs now. Execute high energy turn. Understood. Changing course. The death of this uh, cruiser. Underway. Jump him out of there. Orders received. Bolt 
Disengaging from battle. I am not very good Your at this level again. I'm probably just not going to be able to escape. He's probably just going to get blown up. Right, here we come. He's just going to try and ram us. But if he does, he's going to die. until I get them back unless I want to pay for them but with two defeats in a row and the upgrades I bought I won't be able to really realistically afford that plus I'm averse to using my renown to get a ship back I think it's a false economy there you go heavily damaged heavily damaged so when I go back to my screen you'll see that uh, the more health for the game but at least to keep the crews and the morale for two so there you go, one turn remaining, but we've both got skill ups on the crew. So with this guy, I want to go with the gunners, because that makes me cannons better. And with this one, I want to go with the squadrons to get the reload quicker on the fighters. I can also purchase a skill on this one, but with the main out of the battle, I don't think it's worth doing. But I will look at changing these macro cannons. Probably that one there, but as you can see, it cost me 60 points. And I want to keep a little bit of a buffer. So this match could be very interesting, depending on what I get to put up against. Oh, I get a fatal error. Well, I think I'm going to call it there, because that's enough fatal errors and it's getting late. Good night.